Um, today I have my beautiful patient Wendy here with me and Wendy and I have been working um, a lot on her under eyes. It's one of the areas that bothers her um, a little bit and so you know we've done some filler here and there, we've done some laser, we've done Botox and so the next step that I thought we would go to and try is PRP. Um, so for those of you who don't know what PRP is, it stands for platelet-rich plasma, and it's actually your body's own um, growth factors and little stem cells that go into the area and help to maybe uh, stimulate collagen and elastin and kind of brighten up the skin. And I say maybe because it's still kind of, there's a lot of research on it and we know that it does help, but it's it's still kind of not been actually FDA approved. So we're kind of doing this off label, but I've been doing it for a long time. Um, and you've probably seen those videos on, on YouTube and other uh, uh, internet uh, social medias where you know people are doing what they call the vampire facelift. This is basically the same thing, um, except we're actually gonna inject the plasma into certain areas. And Wendy's a little bit concerned about bruising, so we're also going to do it with a cannula. So that's kind of my own little take on it. I like to do things with cannula and PRP, just like filler, just like Sculptra, and just like Botox. All these things, well, not really Botox, but Sculptra and filler can be injected with cannula to prevent bruising and less pain as well. So. How we do this is we actually have to draw the patient's blood. So Wendy um, and I were kind of looking at some veins before we even got started and Wendy admits, she goes, I don't have the best veins, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna do our best here. So bear with me. Um, it, just like when you go to the doctor and they draw your blood, this is basically the same thing, except we use a special kind of device where we, a little vial, um, that has a buffering agent in it that helps to separate the red blood cells from the plasma. So, um, and we'll show you what that looks like when we get there. But anyways, um, and this one also has some nice little fillers that help in, with the pain and discomfort, whereas when you do PRP for like joints or something like that, they have a totally different type of device. This one's more for the cosmetic purposes, like hair growth and skin and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so Wendy can look away. I'm gonna clean the area where I wanna work. And again, I'm just kind of looking for her little vein there. Just nice and relaxed. Right there, she's got a good little vein and poke. And I'm in, so that's it. Now. As I'm in, I'm just gonna tape it down just a little bit to hold it there. And you will see, as I put my vial in, the blood is gonna go directly into the vial. Breathe, are you doing okay? Doing great, thank you. And just need, it, so we get about 10 mLs of um, whole blood, and then we're going to centrifuge it. I didn't even feel that much. Good, okay. <laughs> so Wendy was saying that she had to go to the doctor and they had to take some blood the other day and they like had to stick her a couple times. She's like, it was so painful. So I was like, well, I'm, I'm hoping I can get a good blood draw. I'm actually pretty good at it, so. All right. So we probably have enough here. There it is, that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this little needle out of her arm and give her a break. That was the worst part of it. So after this, it's pretty easy. That's out. You take the tourniquet off. And then and we tell Laura breathe. how much we love her. <laughs> you want to hold that, <laughs> that there for me? That is not painful at all. Okay, good. I'm going to let you hold that. And Kendall, if you want to come with me. So basically, now we have our little vial of whole blood here. Um, and we are going to put it in a special centrifuge. It has to be balanced weight and it allows me to actually turn this into beautiful platelet-rich plasma. Okay, so there we go, and simple as that, and it's just gonna go. So we'll be back in five minutes after it's finished spinning, and I'll show you how we're gonna inject it. Thank you.
Okay, so this is the platelet. And if you look really closely, you can see where the packed red blood cells are separated from the plasma. Um, so this is this very rich in growth factors and stem cells and everything that we need um, to just kind of repair damaged tissue. Like I said, they use it in joints. It helps with people who have joint problems. Um, and, and in the skin, what we find is that it kind of helps to brighten up the skin. Other purposes for this is um, hair. Um, so people who are starting to have uh, alopecia or hair loss, um, now they're starting to inject PRP um, in conjunction with hair transplants or even by itself. And there's some research that says that it might actually help hair grow back. So, um, but for her, like I said, we're gonna go interdermally. We're gonna go under her eyes to brighten the skin. And we're just gonna kind of lift and just hope to get some nice results today. So are you ready, Wendy? And looking closely, you know, so so open your eye, Wendy. When you look at Wendy, she had a little bit of, you know, volume loss here, and we've, we've done some filler. She also has just a little bit of, um, you know, pigmentation. So what I'm hoping for her is that what this will do is just brighten up her eye a little bit and just give her a little bit more of that refreshed look. <clears throat> the technique I'm using is called cannula technique, and the reason I like this is because it doesn't, the patients don't bruise as much, um, and it goes in really nice and smooth, especially with filler. With PRP, I'm only doing it because she didn't want to bruise. Um, with PRP, I can actually just do little injections, but it hurts the patient a little bit more. Even with the numbing cream, whenever you put a needle in someone's face, they're likely to bruise, they're likely to have a little more pain. So this way, it allows me to make one injection site, and then I go into the area and kind of fan it in there. So I like to measure. And you can kind of see right here. So we're just gonna numb her right there. A little pinch. And just like a blab of numbing there. Then we make a little insertion site for the cannula. Again, going in with the cannula is great because it just creates this nice little smooth surface. A little pressure here. You okay, Wendy? She's feeling it a little bit. So um, now we're just gonna slowly inject a little bit of the platelet, the PRP, and you're just gonna see it flow into that tissue very nicely so that it kind of helps to just soften everything up here. Now, one of the things Wendy was concerned with, you know, am I going to be, she is going to be a little bit swollen. Um, it can last a couple days. And go ahead and look up for me, Wendy. Good. Perfect. Okay, and then again. Okay. Can I hold it up for a second? Mm-hmm. And you can already see how nice and bright it's looking. Just really, you know, very, very nice. So how are you feeling, Wendy? You okay? Good. Okay. So we're gonna I'm gonna do a little bit more over here too, just because I'd like to fan some into her cheeks as well. So I'm gonna numb her over here. <clears throat> little pinch here, okay. Here. Um And it doesn't really matter. You really want to be dermal for this kind of procedure because you want those fibroblasts to get stimulated. But, you know, keep in mind plasma flows very easily through surfaces. So even if we're not totally um, dermal, you know, as the plasma is um, spreading out throughout the tissue during the time, you're going to get just a really nice lift. So there we go. So I'm done with that side there. You want to see? So just a little bit brighter, a little bit more lifted, and it's not bumpy. The beautiful thing about this is, is it's never gonna be bumpy because it's not like hyaluronic acid where it's gonna absorb all this water. <laughs> it, it's gonna be swollen a little bit, but then as the swelling goes down, it's just gonna look like your nice, natural, fresh skin.